part of Oli. I'm just in my infancy of learning and barely at that. But part of it is to make it pleasing to the to the elements. Yes. And that's where when you know the vibrations of the sounds mm. of the vowel. Mm. And then you put it in a combination with the consonant. I don't know if there is even a way to divvy it up, but if you were to ascribe a percentage to the, say, the philosophy of the sounds or the mechanics of the vibrato and the intention of the ask, what, what this is the most important one okay the intention because it will affect what comes out of your voice mm. if the vibration creates manifestation what then of the things that and i don't know this is subjective but the things that sh should not manifest what then I don't quite understand. Mm. If someone is asking for something that is not yet appropriate or not appropriate at all, just say no. It just then it's it is a moot point. <laughs> That's right. Okay, good to know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, maybe you heard it on um, the video you saw. I can't think of his name. With now. Wilmot. Yes. Yeah. Um. I think I said one of my California teacher's students asked about the Oli Kahea and the Oli Como, and I explained it, and she oh, said, the it's contract. a contract. It's timely. I mean, that is a contract mm. from a Hawaiian perspective. Mm. I needed that Haole perspective, which is a foreign perspective mm. on contract. Mm. And I just didn't know how to explain it mm. because everything else surrounding those kinds of Oli, they don't say it's a contract. Mm. They say it's secret. Mm. It's a secret whatever. But when you look at it, mm. it's a contract mm. because you're taking um, education from someone and that someone can tell you do not teach this to somebody else which I do in some perspectives of to the students you're not allowed to teach this yeah and it's the contract what gives me the right to tell you that mm -hmm. and she answered that question for me 